Historically, the party that holds the White House has typically lost seats in Congress. Democrats want to make sure that doesn't happen this time. And the man in charge of the strategy behind that effort, DNC Chair Jamie Harrison, joins me live now for more on this. Jamie, thanks for being here. Uh, Republicans are confident that they can flip control of both the House and the Senate. How confident are you that Democrats can hold on to their majorities or at least stave off major losses here? Well, you have talked about the history uh, of midterm elections, but look at these races across the country. They are razor sharp. They're very, very tight right now. And in tight races like this, you know what makes a difference? It's not more TV ads. It's about boots on the ground. And that's why the DNC has taken unprecedented actions in terms of investing in a get-out-the-vote operation. In 2018, which was a good midterm year for us, we put $30 million on the ground. We've already spent $90 million on the ground, and we started last year building operations, get out the vote operations in states like Pennsylvania and North Carolina and Georgia. So I'm very, very proud of the team that, that we have. Uh, yesterday alone, we made a million calls in the four states, uh, just turning out the vote, getting people excited. And that's what you need in these very, very close races. We did well in the early vote uh, in terms of our projections. Now the game is on today. It's about getting our voters to the polls. Now, poll after poll shows the economy and inflation are the top issues for voters in these midterms. And according to the latest ABC News Washington Post poll, more than 40 percent of Americans say they are worse off financially than they were two years ago. So being Democrats have controlled Congress and the White House in that time, many will look at that and say that shows Democratic economic policies aren't working. What's your response to that? No, what it shows is that Republicans have time and time again blocked many of the policies that we're trying to move forward. You know, when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris became president and vice president, this, this country uh, was spiraling. But we passed the American Rescue Plan and got shots in arms, money in people's pockets. We kept many people in their homes. We went on with the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, we, we also did the bipartisan infrastructure bill. You know, these have been major, major pieces of legislation to improve the lives of the American people. And then when we look at the Republicans, what are they doing? They're either blocking legislation, like they blocked uh, the provision on price gouging at the gas pump, or uh, blocking prescription drug costs going down, or child care costs, or they're talking about uprooting, pulling out by its roots Social Security and Medicare. You know, Democrats are the only ones with an agenda for working class people. This election's about, you know, hope versus fear, but also progress versus people who just want power for power's sake. And so I think in the end of the day, uh, voters across this country are going to choose to stand up with the Democratic Party. Now, Jamie, if Republicans do take control of Congress, how will you re-examine Democrats' strategy ahead of 2024? Well, listen, we are going to continue to double down in terms of the, the efforts that this president and this vice president are trying to make in order to improve this country, uh, to give relief to hardworking Americans. Uh, we're going to continue to make sure that we're reaching out to uh, the, the base of our party, those who make up our party, but also reach out to the independents as well. That's going to be really, really important. Uh, again, we know the history of midterm elections, and we know how tough it is in order to get through them. Um, but we are built for this, and we're going to move forward. And uh, uh, you know what? We're going to win this evening. All right. We'll see. Jamie Harrison, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.